I am William Pitt, the Younger, and I had the privilege of serving as the Prime Minister of Great Britain during a crucial period in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. My story is one of political ambition, leadership during a time of global conflict, and dedication to my country. I was born on May 28, 1759, in Hayes, Kent, England, into a family deeply entrenched in British politics. My father, William Pitt, the Elder, was also a prominent statesman. From an early age, I displayed an exceptional intellect and an interest in politics. I was sent to Pembroke College, Cambridge, at the age of 14, and it was clear that I was destined for a political career. My political journey began in earnest when I was elected as a member of parliament for the constituency of Appleby in 1781. I was only 21 years old at the time, earning me the moniker, the younger, to distinguish me from my father, who had also held high political office. My early years in Parliament were marked by a strong stance against the American Revolution, which was then ongoing. I passionately argued against recognizing American independence, asserting that the colonies should remain loyal to the British Crown. In 1783, at the age of 24, I was appointed as Chancellor of the Exchequer in the government of Prime Minister William Cavendish Bentinck, the Duke of Portland. This marked the beginning of my rise to political prominence. I implemented a series of financial reforms and measures to address the national debt, earning a reputation for my fiscal acumen. My greatest and most challenging period of leadership came during the French Revolutionary Wars and the subsequent Napoleonic Wars. In 1784, at the age of 25, I became the youngest Prime Minister in British history. My tenure as Prime Minister was characterized by my unwavering commitment to defeating the revolutionary forces of France and later Napoleon Bonaparte. I forged alliances with other European powers, notably Austria and Russia, to form the first coalition against revolutionary France. I was instrumental in expanding Britain's naval power, financing military campaigns, and rallying the nation against the threat posed by Napoleon. The war effort was expensive, and I introduced income tax as a temporary measure to finance the conflict. Despite the challenges and criticism I faced during my time as Prime Minister, I remained steadfast in my commitment to defending Britain and its interests. I served as Prime Minister for much of the period from 1784 to 1801 and again from 1804 until my death in 1806. My premature death occurred on January 23, 1806, at the age of 46. I had worked tirelessly throughout my political career, and the stress and demands of leadership took a toll on my health. I left behind a legacy as one of Britain's most influential and capable prime ministers, known for my oratory skills, financial expertise, and leadership during a pivotal time in British history. Today, I am remembered as a key figure in the fight against Napoleon and as one of the architects of Britain's victory in the Napoleonic Wars. My dedication to my country and my tireless efforts to safeguard its interests continue to be studied and celebrated by historians and admirers of British history.